All right, everybody, welcome back to the next installation of Airbus 320 Tech Talk. Last time uh, we kind of talked about some uh, general orientation uh, once you step on, inside the flight deck. And uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to start to uh, break each one of the panels down one by one. So uh, for this episode, we're going to start um, on the overhead or the, the upper overhead anyways. Um, so I'll bring up a slide uh, of this. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, this portion of the overhead panel um, is uh, kind of out of out of reach of your uh, your arm's length, so to speak, when you're sitting in the flight deck position. Um, so you have to get up to manipulate these switches. But um, most of the buttons on this panel here um, are uh, you know things we don't use like in every um, every flight operation. So um, the first one uh, we're going to start at the the uh, top left here and kind of work our way down across uh, the next couple videos. But uh, the first one we're going to talk about is the uh, ELT panel up here in the top left. So we'll kind of zoom in on that. So um, the ELT, first of all, what does it stand for? It stands for Emergency Locator Transmitter. And what this is, a piece of equipment on um, pretty much all aircraft that um, in the event that the, uh, the plane was to go down and, and uh, there needed to be a search and rescue operation conducted, um, this uh, piece of equipment is designed to automatically go off and, and transmit like a, a distress or a homing signal anyways so that um, a search and rescue team might be able to find uh, the location of the downed aircraft. So um, some interesting things about the ELT. Um, it is uh, designed to go off automatically, I said, and the way that it's triggered is with um, when a certain uh, G loading is, uh, is registered by the, uh, the, the piece of equipment there. So. Um, you know, in the case of a hard impact, um, that's, you know, kind of the idea or the concept behind it um, that is supposed to trigger the, uh, the transmitter to go off. Um, one interesting thing about this is um, I don't know the exact G loading off the top of my head that uh, will do this, but um, in some cases you can actually have a, a hard landing and uh, where the, you know, the plane is otherwise, uh, you know, fine to fly again, um, but it's just a hard enough impact to set off the emergency locator transmitter. Um, so that's just uh, one thing to, uh, I guess, be aware of if you have a hard landing, but uh, thankfully that's a, a rare occurrence uh, for the most part. Um, what the ELT um, sounds like, um, or, well, basically what it does, it transmits a signal on a, a VHF frequency. So um, it's 121.5 uh, is the emergency frequency um, that this signal is transmitted on. And um, if you were to listen to it, it sounds kind of like a, a, a siren uh, going off. And... Um, as I said, you know, this is kind of designed um, to allow other aircraft that might be in uh, radio range of this signal going off to, to be able to um, kind of get a fix on them. They, ha they actually have search and rescue aircraft that uh, will go out and kind of listen for this stuff if they think that a, that a plane's gone down. So um, that is uh, just a little bit about the operation of the, uh, the ELT itself. Um, as far as the actual flight deck controls up here that we have on this panel, um, like I said, this is nothing um, that you're, you're touching in any normal sort of circumstances. Um, most of the functionality here is uh, for those abnormal times when um, you, you might be up here manipulating that. Um, the position of the switch is always in the, the center position here, kind of where it's lined up with the arm. So that means it's just ready to go. And uh, as we said before, if, if there was an impact, um, the thing would go off and start transmitting. Um, if you were to move the, um, the switch up into the on position, um, this of course would be something you know, you'd be doing manually. And you know, the only time I could really think that you would use this is if, you know, gosh, you made a, a, an emergency landing, like maybe in a field somewhere and you know, the plane you know, touched down nice and smooth so it didn't trigger that G tolerance to uh, set the thing off uh, transmitting on its own. And for whatever reason, you just wanted to flip the switch up in the on position and uh, send out that broadcasting signal there. Um, if the switch uh, is moved to the bottom position here, it's the uh, the reset test uh, position, and that's you know pretty much a, a maintenance thing. Um, once again, we're we're not trained um, as operators and pilots uh, to really use that uh, switch position there, and um, just as the name implies, uh, you know it's for some reason I, I believe there's a there's a time interval that these things will get tested and checked. And, um, you know, that's, that's what that position of the switch there would do for you. And uh, just to the right here, uh, this little, um, little kind of black circle right here is just a light. And I have um, one other slide to show you um, what it looks like when that turns on. It's not very spectacular, but um, I did a, a lights test in the flight deck just to show you what it looks like. Um, so 
um, just the, the light will come on when the thing is uh, been triggered to, to transmit. So um, that could come on if you, uh, you make a hard landing or, or, um, or what have you, or if you have the switch in the on position, or um, of course, if you move it down to the test uh, position there. So um, that uh, wraps it up for the emergency locator transmitter.